Hello everyone. So today we are bouncing into the world of artificial intelligence in other words called AI. So we're going to be exploring a, a list of four AI powerful specifically designed tools which have been designed to elevate or improve your writing game. So whether you're a professional writer, a student or someone who is just looking forward to improve their writing skills, you won't want to miss this insightful discussion however before we dive into that i want you to take a step back and check a comprehensive series on how to write your first research paper or thesis with ease by yourself which consists of a list of videos so one of the first um, software we'll be looking at is called genie so you go to google and you type genie g-e-n-n-i a-i it will take you to the Jenny software. So you see in there, the first thing you're gonna see Jenny AI, and then precisely go for that for researchers. So when you click on that for researchers, you can see that definitely you don't need to probably, you know, sign in before you start writing on like other softwares where you need to sign in directly. But if you open on a browser where um, you already have your Google sign in, you can find that and you can start writing it's free so it's a software which is free you can use it free in order to type so if you use that you can you might decide to sign up for an account or you can sign up with your google account before you proceed so um that is a step you can use in order to sign into your genie software so after you sign in this is what you're going to find on your screen so on your screen you're going to see the platform for undergrad masters and phd so depending on your level let's use uh let's just say masters so what are you writing today you can key in your question and key question is what is climate change so you can see leading the depending if there are some questions you can say be very weak so it jenny definitely can you know suggest you with a good research question on how to type because one thing with research is if you don't key in the keyword well it's not going to proceed so it gives you the first sentence and it gives you the opportunity to be able to read and either accept it or delete it and then you can say okay proceed write an introduction so it gives you um, a whole generic introduction all through that so it's generating genius writing so um it proceeds and you can either accept this card or try again so in this case i do accept it so that is the introduction that it has been written but with an advanced writer this information what you've written here you can accept it then after accepting that what you can do is you can copy that you copy that and then um you can copy the, uh, that and then you take it to um, a different that is your word document whereby you can proceed to do further things and the good thing with Jenny is the outcome it gives you you can be able to keep on editing right you can write add stuff and reduce the other things but like I'm going to show you on other softwares um when you add um a sentence it's like you're both writing together but other artificial um intelligence softwares you're not able to do all all of this and then there's also even an option where you cite and then one thing with um with ai softwares is that some of the citations could be true and some could not be true. So it's very important you do cross check if the um, citations they are providing are uh, generic, they are true or not. So definitely, um, I will definitely produce or definitely create another video where I'm definitely gonna be showing you, uh, we're going to be cross checking together if the citations provided are true or not so we're gonna review them together so um so this is what you get on your basic form so if you want to upgrade you can definitely upgrade 
it if you want to upgrade it you can upgrade it, which is a paid account you can upgrade it to another level so you can copy this and take it to um, a word document file another ai software which we can use to improve our writing is what we call chat gtp and i'm sure a lot of people have heard of this and the basic one is chat gtp where you get it on google so once you get to chat gtp you've got to sign in using your google account or you can create an account here i already um logged into my chat gtp account so and then i'm gonna key in the word what is climate change so when you key in climate change this is what um chat gtp is going to generate for you it's going to generate the whole thing unlike Jenny, where it requests you if you want to write an introduction conclusion i love that chat gtp basically gives you the whole thing there and you've got to sort it out by yourself um when i first came across chat gtp it was quite like interesting the answers they give you they are amazing but one thing i'm going to tell you about chat gtp is that you have to cross check your answers another ai the third one is what we call science space so with science space is another one which a lot of people do so you go to google and you're going to get it you type in the science space and this is what comes on the board and this is good because this is updated right up to 2024 on like chat gtp which is right up to 2021 for the unpaid version so this one takes you right up to that if you key in the, the question what is climate change if you want a literature review it will be able to write a literature review for you so when you key in that this is what it generates so it gives you the good thing about this one is that it gives you citations you can see citation one two three you can even click and check on the citations that they have provided for you and then with these citations you can go through and read again so um this will be able to um, provide you with a literature review but um and you can even see by the side they give you results conclusion and all of that i I'm still using the old school type, but as a beginner, you can use this, you can copy this, and then you take it to the Word document file where you can use and edit. The fourth software type is what we call um, S-Site AI. So when you use AI's yeah, AI, and there you need to go to the assist writing assist platform so this is what you get if you type the question what is climate change let's do that if you log in what is climate change so this is what you get i think this is almost the same like the previous ai which we looked about so this one provides you results it's a whole they give you result in a whole chunk and then with citations with citations which you can you know verify so this is what um you have so with these results you can copy and put it on a word document and you can keep working on that but um yeah you copy this then you put and then you know this is it gives you citations references and you know all of these references so um if you're um, looking at that this is what you get and then you see like nicholas et al 2020 all of these AI softwares are quite amazing. I can AI tools are specifically designed to enhance your writing. So it is crucial to emphasize their role when submitting your thesis, your research paper, or any particular material you've written to a professional body, which will be evaluating that paper. 
while these tools can be quite invaluable assistance in refining and improving your writing it is very important that you should remember that they were designed to complement your skills not to replace them entirely so when you're using ai to for example to generate an entire paper uh, which goes against academic integrity and ethical standards it's always very important you should mention that there are some journals which clearly stipulate in their instruction in their guidelines that you should mention if you've used ai in order to write your manuscript so please always do notify and then you also need to acknowledge the tools you've utilized take pride in collaborating efforts between human um, creativity and artificial so congratulations you've just learned four ai tools which can help you with your writing so which one is your favorite let me know in the comment section and also if you found the video um helpful don't forget to like share subscribe for more inside videos and thank you for watching and before i totally sign out one thing i want to let you know is that if you ever use any ai for professional writing or in the case of professional writing case please do make sure you notify the editor-in-chief when submitting your manuscript because there are other ai softwares um or which can be used to track and identify if you use ai during your process and if that is found your paper will be automatically uh, rejected so please um for ethical reasons always to notify or let them know that you use this during your writing process this has been your boy dr richards bye